Hello students, this video is for 7.10b and 7.11b, which are about solving one variable equation and inequalities. In this problem, we want to know if x is equal to negative 6, which inequality is true? Not only are we going to answer that, but we're also going to represent it on a number line. So, quick reminder, inequalities indicate that something is not equal. So you'll notice in A, B, C, and D, we don't have equal signs. We have greater than symbols and less than symbols. We read left to right, okay? And so I put these little dots at the end to help you see which side has more um, dots. If this side has more dots, this side reads as it is greater than the other side because the other side only has one dot. Some of you think of an alligator. Some of you think of Pac-Man, that the Pac-Man or alligator eat the bigger side. In this case, this side is greater than that side. That means on B, we would read this as negative 3 minus 5x is less than negative 14. And that's because the less side in this problem has fewer than the right side. Keep that in mind as we solve these problem, or this problem. So if x is equal to negative 6, which inequality is true? Well, the quickest and probably easiest way is to substitute the value in. So if x is negative 6, any, to any place I see an x, I would just plug in negative 6. So a here could be negative 5 minus 3. But instead of x, right here, instead of that x, we're going to plug in negative 6. Okay? Is greater than 10. Let's see if this inequality is true. And I apologize that that one is a little long. <laughs> but uh, so negative 3 times negative 6. Let's do that math real quick. And I'm going to switch colors for the next line. So negative 3 times negative 6 is a positive 18. Because a negative times a negative is a positive. And then I'm just going to bring down the rest of what I have. So I have negative 5 and a positive 18 is greater than 10. All right, and I'm going to switch colors again for each line. Negative 5 plus 18 creates 13. Is 13 greater than 10? Is that a true statement? And the answer is, of course, yes, it is. So we already know the answer is A. We already figured it out. But just a real quick do mental math check. If you plugged in negative 6 on this one here, we'd have negative 5 times negative 6, which is a positive 30, negative times a negative. So negative 3 plus 30 would be 27. And 27 is not less than negative 14. And it wouldn't work for C or D either. But to keep the video short, I'm going to keep stay focused on what we have. So we proved that it was true. If x is negative 6, this inequality would be true. That means the solution to this problem is that x can be negative 6. So I'm going to go put a dot at where it's negative 6 or circle. x could be negative 6 or any value. Is it going to be greater than or less than that value? Well, if you don't know, one thing you could do is just try the next number. So let's act like x was negative 7. Right here, we would have negative 3 times negative 7, which is positive 21. And negative 5 plus 21 would give you 16. And 16 is greater than 10. So we know that negative 7 works. And if you try negative 8, it'll continue to work. In fact, all numbers this direction will work. So we're going to indicate that by having an arrow going to the left. Now, why didn't I shade this in? Well, if I shaded it in, that would mean x uh, would be included in this, or that it would be included in the value. So in this particular case, x equals negative 6. It does work. So technically, I could shade this in. And technically, the answer would be uh, greater than or equal to. But in this particular problem, um, 6 says work. That is how you do this problem. 
to make sure the last thing I just said isn't too confusing, this problem asks which inequality is true, and that is A. But if it had said what solutions would make this, or how do we represent, what solutions are possible for this specific inequality, then the answer would be all values, including negative six and, and, and smaller or lesser than 